Welcome to the Show and Tell Show. It's, it's a, a fucking game show. show! It's arguably the only show worth watching on a device in your hand other than porn. Uh, it's a game show, we swear, and we have some comedian contestants on tonight. I'm going to ask them some silly questions, but before we do, let's get to meet them. Starting on my far right, say your name, and since you're so athletic, why didn't you go pro in your sport? <laughs> why didn't I go pro in my sport? Um, I didn't have a sport. I like to play every sport because I couldn't pay attention for more than five minutes on anything. My name's Chris Justice, by the way. I forgot to say that. I didn't have a sport, though, because I just played everything, and I used to, like, make fart noises in the back of class, so, like, no one took me serious once, like, sports started going serious. I was too busy flirting with girls. That's what happened. That's Chris Justice. That's Chris Justice. Um, moving to his left is our middle contestant. Say your name and why you didn't go pro. My name is Evan Luongo, and I didn't go pro because uh, I just trained for the suffering, so I kind of forgot to go to the competition. I, I literally was still training, and I forgot to leave. The, the boat <laughs> the, left? Yeah. You missed, say, and you yeah. missed this flight. Awesome. Uh, and our final contestant, the one closest to me, could you say your name and why you didn't go pro? It's Dave Caggiano, and I didn't go pro in badminton because that scumbag Alex Wong switched out the nylon threads on my on my racket for goddamn cotton strings, and I couldn't hit the fucking wow. shuttlecock. That's why. Alex Wong. Those cotton-picking Asians. Chris, yes. you think you could have gone pro? You kind of seemed like you fell off in high school. That I was like insane in every were... sport. I was great in anything I touched. I turned it to gold. Because like I was just, I had like the, the psychotic, like I would drool and I'd have the shit on the sides of my mind. I'd just be like covering a kid or like taking crazy slap shot. No one wanted a piece of me. I was this size at seven too. Like I haven't grown since. And what but... would happen would be, it would be the night of the big game and you would be so enthralled in a woman's vagina that you would just miss in the... The scouts didn't see you that week? Nah, I, yeah, I mean, it just, anything would keep my attention. So I'd be off playing another sport. They'd be like, Chris, the, the big competition's here for hockey. And I'm like, ah, fuck, I'm, I'm doing friggin' lawn dots. I was just, I moved on, you know. I'm, I'm, Evan, you, hmm? you said that you never made it to the competition. No, I you did also not. never said what it was. Yes, I did not. So uh, it would help if I explained. It was archery. So I was in the range that I obviously built in my house because I'm doing this professionally. And I have OCD. So the problem was, I got into one of those Robin Hood things where I shot the arrow and then it shot the arrow. And then my OCD kicked in and I kept trying to shoot into, and I got up to five of them. And then I kind of got in this weird loop where I had to keep getting increments of five, right? So I do a couple more shots and then if I got one, then I had to like keep doing it until I would get five. And then I'd be like, okay, I'll stop at the next five. But you said five, five times. I don't know if that's OCD. Let's move on to Dave. Dave, why didn't you go pro? I want the story behind the story. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's that's a... told us. Okay, well, first off, Justice, you're going to stop interrupting. You're bragging over here that you're the size of a seven-year-old currently. And we can see that. It's, there's nothing to brag about. Ah! You wouldn't have played for the New England Patriots unless they used you as the football. So let's settle down. Uh, it's, a, it's a long, it's a gut-wrenching story. Um... But on the, day, on the day of our big meet, um, like I said, Alex Wong, uh, he replaced we, – we, we were stiff competitors, rivals our whole lives. Uh, one, I remember one clock. competition, I replaced the shuttlecock with uh, a butt plug. And that triggered some weird trauma in his life, and he cried, and he couldn't compete that day. But to get back, uh, yeah. I was, read about that in a magazine I made up. Yeah, it was Boston Man Magazine. And uh, – <laughs> So, he, yeah, so he, he screwed with my racket and, and, you know, everyone was making fun of me because I couldn't, the shuttlecock wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't go, I couldn't get the shuttlecock up in the air. Couldn't get so, his cock up. Yeah. And yeah, so that's what it comes down to. That, that made for a really bad Nike lost. slogan, can't get your cock up. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Uh, Chris, I, I don't even know what to ask you. You said you were good at all sports. So, like, uh, that can mean, like, you were, like, excelling right. at field hockey. No, like, I mean, I was, was, good, I was, good, I was good, good, good in hockey. Gonna, I was good in hockey. hockey. I played baseball. Uh, I was on a bowling team. Is I bowling? said sports. Yeah, yeah, that's a sport, man. It's a sport. I played golf. 
Um, I also was a cheerleader, a male cheerleader. So I did, I did it all, man. I was very good at everything I did. And, uh, again, I just couldn't focus on anything, but everyone that was my teammate knows like, oh, he was the best. Like they all know it. So don't try. Uh, Evan. Yes. I just, I didn't get to hear much from you. And so far I haven't been impressed at all. I'd like to give you a chance to speak to your, um, the reason why you didn't become professional. Uh, you know, so, uh, archery is a, uh, skill, a sport of focus, right? Focus and attention and being precise. And, um, it's really cool to organize. I mean, I really don't know how to sell this because it's really lame why I didn't, I'm really good, right? Like, and I kept getting Robin Hoods where I was shooting into the arrows, into the arrows. I mean, I'm really <laughs> fucking good, but because I have mental illness, which is serious people, OCD, <laughs> I got into a loop, but I just didn't leave. It's fucking stupid. I mean, I'm Robin stupid. I, I mean, I, it, it's, I don't know how to. Um, I mean, Robin I should Hood's be not even that I should be out there not like, even that like hot. your 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 uh, veritable Hawkeye or whatever superhero with a fucking bow and arrow, green arrow, just fucking shooting. But I just I get stuck now, in these I weird mean, twicks and loops. And I'm gonna have to interrupt here. Obviously, all of us went to high school uh, together at the exact same time. How did Chris almost go pro in every sport? If you two almost went pro in the same sport. Is he lying or are you lying? Dude. Dude. I, I remember. I remember. Justice is a mess. I remember. First of all, I, didn't, I, never, I, didn't, I never played Justice, either one of these Justice sports. Thought, I didn't think we really listened to Dude, him. He I just thought, thought he was here. Yeah. He was the kid that oh, all, all practices were going out on the sports field. He was underneath the tree in the corner chewing on dandelions high off his ass and in his head <laughs> living this own fallacy that he was going to be a professional athlete. And, and, we, and we, call, we call them dandelion. We go, hey, yeah. dandelion, <laughs> wins the NHL tryouts. I'm getting called what? dandelion. The kid plays badminton, all right? Whatever you call it. You're like, hitting around a shuttlecock. Yeah, Get out bro, of my that was face. Good. Get your shuttlecock out of my face. And, that been and Evan's proud of his... His Robin Hood, it's literally they teach you that day one in archery school. Get the F what out of here. What are you talking about? Uh, Robin yeah. Hood's the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I mean, the, I could do Robin it with a five stuff. minutes of practice. The Robin Hood stuff's the first thing they teach you. It is. I'm just telling you. So, I don't All know. Right. I think I won this round wow, handily Chris. just like oh. I won everything as a, as a kid in sports. So, and once again, you're delusional. Yeah. So. yeah just, well, yeah. passion is a big part of you know winning points here. And Chris, I mean... You're talking about every sport. That shows passion right there. You're talking about the argument that you came with. You didn't let a guy step on anything you had to say, and you got your point across perfectly. Perfectly good for second place. Uh, whatever. And since only first place gets a point oh, in a round, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and give it to Dave. All right? We're not shooting bow and arrows anymore. That's one thing. What Dave does is he, he hits a relatively lightweight right. plastic ball over a net. I, I got cheated, and I'll I'll find you one day, Alex, and I will. Shuttle yeah, cops are racist. They look yeah, like I can Native tell you Americans. right now. My, uh, Alex Wong never kept me from anything. So whatever, give your points to Dave. I'll move on to the next. Let's go. Next question. Alex Wong fingered your sister. Dave wins round. All right, we're gonna do another round so you guys can win another point. This time. Y'all know Greg, who collects the shopping carts at the supermarket. Greg. Yeah. Sometimes they let him bag. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to have to let him go. And I, as much as you, I'm sure, would like to find him new employment. Can you think of anything, anybody that you know, who could help out Greg find a job? Maybe it could be something that you used to do. Maybe it could be something that you think would be good for him. Something that Greg, our shopping cart collecting friend, could excel at. And uh, Evan, you look pretty confident yeah. over there. Way more confident than Greg ever looks. But you're nodding your head just <laughs> as you're nodding your head just as much. Uh, what would you suggest that we put Greg into? Perfect fucking job for him. Perfect job for him. So in in uh, laboratories where they do testing on various drugs and all sorts of things, <laughs> right? You have to take care of the animals. And one of the jobs in right. said such chain of events is simple. Cages that are full of shit, you dump them in a big bin, you place them on a conveyor belt, and then you grab two more cages and you dump them in a big <laughs> bin, and you place them on the conveyor belt. And I feel like that is the perfect cognitive level for Greg. We could get Greg in on, his a, ability. on a janitorial internship. Yeah, 100%. All right. Get him in there. Um, Dave. Yes. 
I know you're not Indeed.com, but this kid Greg could use some help. Do you yeah. know anybody or do you have a suggestion? Okay. So, Greg, listen. Well, you know, I, I mean, you both, you've been working here for a while. You, you've had your ups and downs. You know, you've had a lot of issues. People have caught you licking the shopping carts, uh, stealing things out of people's bags as you bag their groceries. Um, we have, we've had a lot of issues. So we're going to have to move you off the floor, move you away from the people. You don't do well socially. Now, fortunately for you, your full name is Greg DeMula. So what you're going to, you know, your father is in fact the president of Market Basket. So you get a new position, and this wasn't my idea, but you do get it. You're now the president of the co, the vice president of Market Basket. So, um, yeah, you can turn in your, uh, your white shirt and then we're going to give you another white shirt and there you go. Congratulations, Greg. Did I get a cheer? <laughs> um, Chris, you have more connections than anybody that I know. You are the mayor of Boston. True. How can you help our good friend Greg? Well, I, yeah, I want to try and pull so- somewhat like a um, trading places like move, and, and I really want to push him to be all he can be. I don't want to just give him another dead end worthless position that, that he's not going to. So what I want to do is I want him to start as a brand new, he's going to be the president of his brand new own teachers union for all the homeschool teachers. He's going to run. <laughs> he is going to put out the plan for all of us to teach our kids at home. And I think he's going to do a great job. I think we are gonna, we're going to build him up. I don't think he could do any worse than what our public school teachers unions have currently done. So the same way well, that he organizes the shopping carts, he's going to organize a like a learning plan for learning K plan, through six, K through twelve, and we're even gonna, we're already looking into doing a universe, a Greg's university, oh, wow. and a grad mm. school, Greg, Greg's grad school. So, I can tell you this much: he's really good at kickball. No, he's good. At, he's a well-rounded dude, and he, he um, you yeah, know, he's soft-spoken, nice but he, has, yeah, that. Yeah, no, Thanks, he has a lot of, he knows what he's doing. Well-rounded is exactly how I would describe Greg. <laughs> um, Evan, as part of your job program, is he going to be able to do this right from the jump, or are you going to have to, like, walk well, him through No, this? The, the whole plan is he'll, he'll come in, you get your standard orientation like you would at any sort of a thing, right? But St- I'm telling you, his cognitive ability, you two are both fucking nuts. One, him running to Moolah's market basket, great. They're going to fucking just go out of business, like, instantaneously. He's half <laughs> He's fucking not, he's, he's a moron. That's why he collects carriages. You know what I mean? Sometimes they let him bag groceries man when he's having a good man day. Okay? So, and then with you, I don't even want to get into yours. Yours is just absurd. Have you and seen it, the people putting out the plans for children right listen, now? Listen. Okay. I mean, yes, they're too, but my point is he's 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 just as bad. It's awful. So my point is all he should be alone dumping shit, okay? And he can listen to like maybe we could get him listening to like part of job. Okay. Ah, here we go. Learning program. We'll find something interesting that he could learn. We'll get him some headphones. He can listen to that while he dumps cages of shit. Audible. He's nobody else's problem. He's in a basement. I think, I think we've understood that you're going to have him dumping cages of shit. Uh, Dave a- do you think we should leave Greg, who's had the problems with licking things, in the cage full of shit? No, but that's why you need to move him into an office and give him his own secretary. Because that's, that's the American way. You, I mean, what better person that's known for stealing things and licking things? Like, who else do you want in a position of power? That's just, just the way it's been. Running for, on dad's that's the way it's been for six decades. That's what the resume says. That's a yeah. good point. Yeah. I mean, um, why are we even worrying about Greg if he's a Damula? You know what I mean? Like, come on. And also, don't shit on carriage boys and call them because that's probably 90% of our fan base right there is just carriage boys. Yeah, really? Yeah. I served some time on that. It's not easy. You get those August months, those guys are out there busting their ass. Greg is out there busting his ass. Mm-hmm. He drank four 32-ounce Gatorades today. And on break, <laughs> I saw Ramita he got a I saw, saw Ramita yeah. king size dot yeah. chocolate. And they twix. don't allow him to bag groceries because he takes customers' food and eats it yeah, from time yeah. to That's time. Right. I saw so, he, he, grapes, you know, he ate grapes out of Mr. Jenkins' fucking My brown comment bag on the, the all right, you know what? I, I see where this is going, and I want to. It we're, takes we're good upper body strength moving all those characters. I, I, I want think the best thing for Greg is to be working for himself again. Run your own. I think I think we're past what we think is the best for Greg. I just want to know if you're the right person to be giving. Greg judgment at this point. So when you caught Greg stealing something from the grocery bag, Chris, mm-hmm. I want you to look in the camera yeah. and I want you to tell the camera the same way you told Greg that he's not supposed to do that. Greg, come here. 
But I tell you about fucking touching people's shit. I told you not to touch people's shit. And now we get more complaints. And then I have to listen to phone calls instead of taking my fucking nap. You want to rub my feet later? You want that dollar I give you? Fucking shut your mouth. That's, that's how it went down. Now, I know that one time speaking to him wasn't enough. Evan, what did you say to him? Well, when, he, when I saw him do it, I said, Greg, do you understand? I don't know where your hands have been. Why are you touching my food? I just bought that. You're supposed to put it in the bag and leave it alone. Like, what do you do? Don't touch people's food. And then he proceeded to try to keep eating the food. He so always this, does that. Right, right? So then, at no, this no. point, I literally, I slap it out of his hands, and I look at him like, like you know, like you would look at a dog that just shit on the floor or something. And I'm like, what are you doing? And I looked at the ca- the cashier. Mm-hmm. And I looked at the manager. I'm like, he does the same can thing you get thing. get him on carriages? Like, what are you fucking doing? Then and then really... I s- took my groceries very snarkily, Dude. and I stormed out very angrily. I was like, put the Susie Q down, and he was just staring at me like this as yeah, I'm going like a his fucking. Mind. They I always, slapped him right yeah. out of it. And, and, that was and, it. And, and you're making a big deal out of it because they always just send him out to do carriages, and he's fine. Yeah, Dave. Guy's awesome. He was fine after we all had a talk with him, and you specifically said to him, why don't you do it for him? <laughs> Craig, what the fuck is with you and peanut butter? What is it? What is it about... I've never seen anyone eat a jar of peanut butter with their bare hands. Never mind someone who's allergic to peanut... I mean, how many hospital trips are we going to go to this month, huh? Dude, next time, I'm not giving you your fucking EpiPen. You understand me, Greg? <coughs> I mean, we, enough's enough. Enough's enough. Survival of the fittest, dude. We get it. I mean, God, there's fucking traffic out there. A, we have an overpopulation issue. Greg, I'm not saving your ass again. Stop eating peanut butter with your bare hands. And we we'll catch you every time because it's all over your stupid, dumb, carriage-looking face. Yeah. Dude, I've seen him holding it on the carriage it's handle and then yeah. flicking it off the other day. Yeah. Now, get out of his fucking mind! Get he's, him in the teacher's union. He's a forehead farmer that treats EpiPens like M&Ms. Um, yeah. And we, we really want what's best for this little guy. Um, and I can see that I've looked into all of your hearts. Any you know? suggestions, email us, please. No, I, I think we have the answer here. It's pretty simple, okay? Chris, he, he, he uh. can't do anything along those lines. We've, we've seen... Dave pointed out he was licking the hand railings, okay? And, and that just goes to your point, Evan. Just pouring it into the bucket seems like a good idea, but he's going to get bored with that real quick, and he's going to want to know what doggy tastes like. And, and That's it, why we get the educational <laughs> program where he's listening to something and learning. Absolutely, but we don't have time to lawnmower man this young man. So we're going to go again for round two with Dave. Motherfucker, Dave. Oh. He could have a secretary. That's what he calls her. In reality, she's a babysitter to hide the fact that he's the Demurus uh, fortune owner, mm. and then we run the company. Yes, that's how that right. works. Holy shit, you're still here. Good, because this is the final round for a question. And the question this time is, Batman needs a new arch villain, And I would like you to fill that void with your specific arch villain. I would like for it to be unique because we want to sell new toys. So think of who you are in Batman's rogues gallery. I know I have my own ideas. People at home are probably thinking of some. But let's start with Evan. <laughs> okay. This is see, this is a tough one, man. Everyone thinks it's gonna be easy for oh, me. This shit's hard. God. Oh, Here we man. fucking go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, because the problem is. I would go along the lines, but it's already been done, so I can't do that, right? Like, just fake like you don't know what the lines. It would be are. nice just if you something. could be an individual. Yeah, you know, like I, you know, on a unique level, I think I would just go as. Um, I think I would start just fucking killing all of his villains, right? Ooh. And doing what like he hasn't fucking won, like crossing that line that he won't cross. And then, a you know, line crosser. Go, exactly, like going along those kind of lines. So, just I would just go in as a machete vigilante and I just chop up the, yes. the fucking bad guys with the machete. And, uh, and that, that would be the angle. An, aren't we supposed to be an arch villain? Yes. He's like yes, such but, an odd villain. That, he's almost like yes. doing shit to it, like mock him. He's, it's it's a it's a role, it, dude. It's the most psychological you, thing for Batman. I, I want to take a crap a on you right now, but I want to take a crap on you, but. It's a fucking great idea. They find dead bodies in Gotham, and, and Batman's trying to figure out who it is. Pretty interesting. Dave, you didn't seem to like that pitch. I think that you might have something more in store for our winged... Yeah, I... Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm not going to be a villain that kills other villains and helps back. I mean, that sounds like a hero to me. Um, but the I enemy of, the enemy my, of my enemy is my friend. Whatever. Yeah, the fuck right. That's stupid. You thing. Read the psychology of Batman. You don't, you don't know shit. About no. <laughs> uh, my arch villain I would be. I would transform into Evan Luongo. I would just be normal, everyday Whoa. Evan Luongo. <laughs> And I would just annoy the fuck out of Batman. Oh I would just try to be following him around. I would be po asking Cutting him Cutting him off in his car. I would be a lost puppy that's like, every th everywhere he shows up, like, Evan, like I'm, just, I'm just Evan. I'm just like in the background. Like, like, this, and, like he's in like a photo op with like the mayor of Gotham. And like, I'm just like this in the background. And like, I'm just everywhere. And I just annoy him. It's brilliant. To the point, yeah. and the goal is, the, the goal is to annoy him to the point where he has to kill me and betray all of his morals. And that's how I win in, wow. my, in my own death. The joke has been trying to do you. that forever. You just you modernized. Wow. You just modernized that. That's right. I like that. Dude. Chris. Yeah. You're listening to this shit. It's good stuff. Can your villain hold up to this? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I want to shit on both of them, but they're fucked. Oh, well, let me let me get my mic on because this is gonna be good. Let me ask you again when you're ready. <laughs> ask me again. Ask me again. <clears throat> Chris, is there any way that you can come up with a villain character that can hold their own with the likes of these two? I think so. I think I can actually beat them. And to be honest with you, I want to shit all over these two, but I can't because they're very good ideas. But my guy, that's his calling card. He's Mr. Shitty Draws. And he's never done, he's never changed his pants or even pulled them down. He's had the same pair of pants on since he was a young adult. And all he does is just piss and shit down his legs. He just walks around with the stench of 17 camels, okay? And he, you can smell him from a mile away, but he's trying to get a revolution of people to live like him and just stink the world out. And then Batman won't even be able to get through the, 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 the vapor of the odor that's just gonna reap from the whole fucking town that these people are gonna overtake. There's gonna be no, it's a revolution is what it is. So, yeah. So we have- Mr. Shitty Draws. Shitty, Mr. Shitty Draws. This might end up being a situation where Batman is one man and you all want his head. Who's going to win? How are you going to How is Mr. Shitty Draws going to defeat your arch-villain? Uh, he won't. Oh Evan, my god, he's Evan is relentless, dude. Evan doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> this guy doesn't shower as is, bro. So it's, he's going to fit right in. He's going to be they're going to like like no smell is going to deter this guy from meeting his absolute hero. Are you kidding me? He's not weak-minded. That's that's a ter I mean that's terrible. I mean, Your guy just smells like there's like a million of you already that exist. Dude, he'll come out his door in the morning and there'll be presents all over his fuck. He won't even make it out his walkway. He's just gonna slip and fall and hit his fucking head. There's gonna be shit. We're all just gonna be sitting there all night, fucking shit in the fucking ground and everything. All we just we're bringing a mob of people. It's a flash mob of shit. Evan, would you like to defend your character? Do you have a chance against either one of these two Mr. in a battle? Oh, I have the best chance. Like, okay, so if me as Machete Vigilante is going against me as regular Evan, I'm just going to wait to know when to strike, and then I'm just going to cut my fucking head off. Yeah, but you right? don't think you'd be ready for you? I mean, no, you guys if I know I said Evan. Right? You guys both picked no. fucking Evan. No, what's wrong with you? <laughs> How am I going to lose? No. How is Mr. Shitty Draws going to lose this week? Because they like both said the same I'm going to let I said I'm going to walk right up to his stupid, smelly, shitty ass and I'm going to cut his head off and be like, dude, you stink. And there's a thing called fucking Febreze. You ain't getting anywhere near me. Now. You ain't yeah, getting anywhere near me. It's Trust called me. Febreze. Shut the fuck up. No Febreze is and cutting bleach. through this. No. Well... Wow. I believe we've heard all the pieces of the puzzle that we need to come to a conclusion here. It's very simple. We have two answers to choose from. <laughs> um, and like, that's yeah, not to really say that... one answer. Yeah, really, that's at the end of the day. It, it, Mr. Shitty Draws, right? Uh, is he wearing a pair of tidy whities most of the time? No. I would think no, at this it's, point it's encased in shit, right? Like his no, legs and it goes right, right down. I mean, dude, it just it rolls down the leg. The nice baggy pair of chinos. I was looking for <laughs> one more thing to push me over the edge, Chris, because I wanted to give you the point, but I can't because the actual point needs to go to something that will instill fear in the heart of Batman. He's a clean guy. I mean, he's going to be pissed that that mansion's all fucked. I mean, whatever. And dude. I had a brain <clears throat> battle trying to figure out how Evan Luongo would beat the Machete Vigilante. Mm, mm. And at the end of the day, doesn't matter. 
because they're the same guy. <laughs> so Evan Luongo <laughs> wins the fucking point. You would think that. <laughs> I just can't imagine a world where Evan Luongo thinks that Batman could be killed by Evan Luongo. Oh, he could get it. Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. So at the end of the day, you would only hope to annoy him to the point where he breaks his code. Yeah. So Dave wins. It's a psychological mindfuck on this one. And now's the time for show and tell. Congratulations for making it to the most exciting part of the show and tell show. Show and tell. And we have three hmm. contestants here with three set pieces that you're going to want to see. Uh, everybody's eager. Let's start with our most eager, Evan. Oh, I, I thought brought I was a sea turtle. Oh. oh, is that a real one? No. Oh damn! It doesn't. It doesn't bite. It. I'm not gonna. It doesn't bite. I see. It. Yeah, it's very cool. Oh, that's awesome. Now, why is this sea turtle special to Evan? Uh, I got it when I was a child, and it has a bloody anus. So the bloody anus kind of traumatized me a little it. bit as a child. Um, as an adult, I understand. I understand the bloody eternal anus. Um, but, um, Dave, if you kid, could describe what Evan's talking about for the people at home. There's a little bloody anus. Did it come with the bloody anus? or did nope. that? Not, I did not uh, customize that. That really? came with the bloody setting. anus. Is that what you just said? Did it yeah. come with the bloody oh, anus? Oh, all right. Yeah. I did you give it a bloody, bloody anus? It, 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 it traumatized me as a kid. Um, My mom actually took this at one point. She decorated one of the bathrooms in one of our homes in... Um, yeah, a sea motif. Like so it. she got a sea, um, you know, like a trudging fishing net, and yeah. that was on the shower curtain. And the sea turtle was on Stuck there with some there. seashells yeah. cool. and, and a, like a, 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 a fake crab he had a cool uh, mom. was there well, as little well. Tacky, little tacky, yeah. but cool. He had a cool mom. Ten years you know? of fecal sediment floating through the <laughs> air and embracing on your show-and-tell item. I love it. Um, Chris. Why don't you come in strong with what you've got for show and tell? I've been sure. wanting to do all right since 1994. I've been wanting to show you this motherfucker. Is this just opened up a time capsule that me and my uncle had uh, put together back in '94. I was 20 years old, and in it we put one of these cool old uh, Sony Discman like Walkman. It wasn't even a Discman. It was right the, it was just like a uh, That's cool. AM FM. It was even on the clearance back in '94. So I don't. I mean, but you're saying words that anybody with an iPhone doesn't understand. Explain this is them AM what FM. It has an antenna on it. I'm gonna wear this on my. It has headphones here, and you put them on, and you plug it into here, and then you cannot listen to AM or FM radio for more than 30 seconds. That's basically what happens. So you you, you don't. Have, I mean, you can put four batteries in there that double the weight of why the actual it, item. <laughs> why is it special to you, Chris? Um, well, because my uncle gave it to me. I mean, so we put it in a time cap. We put it in a time capsule together. That's so. pretty sweet, and and it's time to open it up. It's like a whole new chapter. Yeah, of your man. Life. I but I, I we opened up that capsule this week. I was like, mm, I'm so happy you got raided this week, and they dug up all that dirt because I, I I forgot all about this. So it was great, man. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, digging up the past. Dave, did you have to dig up the past for your show and tell gift, or do you have I something did. from the future? I went all the way back to 1993. You and brought something back a little older. Uh, this little jar of pickles. What? Uh, dude, and honestly, I didn't want to have to bring out the, the big stuff today, but I really knew you guys were coming in hot with this turtle and this piece of whack old technology. So I w dug in deep, and I got these pickles. I mean, and, uh, they're, dug in deep. Are they uh, kosher dill? I think dill? you dug in the trash to get those pickles. Right, I mean, what did you forget your show and tell? Dude? All right, dude, I mean, is that your lunch got, or your show and tell? Like, like, no, we're going to lunch next, and if no. I see you eating that, I'm going to know that dude, that's not your show and I tell, that you, but you're showing your lunch for show and I'm tell. I'm going to be more concerned so if he starts bullshit. eating a couple This is our winner? Like this is the kid that won? Get out of here. Oh, that show guess, and tell is a garbage show and tell. You guys see it's the worst show and tell we've ever had. He brought us fucking abuse. lunch. Why don't you bring a yogurt abuse. next time? Abuse. You like got I'm that in the trash. The you show, did get that the from the trash. A fucking prison. You took that from the trash. He already trash. won. He just mailed it in. He, he, he probably has his item I mean, over why, there. He's just fucking with us. Why don't you show us? I want to see what you really brought. You just whistled at the end of that like you are fucking Herbert the pervert. Settle down. Children. All right, we cut to something random, and now we're back. Um, this this was an interesting panel here, Dave. <laughs> you came. You're like a, a rookie who just started hitting home runs out of the gate. Every round, you were just throwing haymakers left and right, and unfortunately, the last one missed. I can't have a Vlasic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna move on to Chris, who fought like Rocky Marciano in the way that. 
I never paid attention to it and <laughs> would never be applicable. So we were left with one person who came from behind with a story about a turtle. <laughs> turtle that got blown out in the ass by a hare. And Evan wins show and tell with his turtle. Yeah, at the end of the day, I kind of just lost track of who really deserved to win. And I can't fuck with either of the other two. He brought items. trash! This is lunch. Bro, it's pickles. It's not this trash. Is, I'll have a pickle, I mean, once we're done with the show. But I'm, I'm kind of upset that that's a show and tell item. It certainly is. And uh, we're going to have to end the show the same way that we end every show. We love show and tell! PCJV!